Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the series Mad About Python. And yes, uh, this is not a tutorial video this time. Instead of that, this is a project demonstration video. So I started this project in May, and I think it's July end now. And uh, it took me a lot of time to figure that out and the math behind it. And uh, I, I was also learning Python at the same time. So I started uh, it in May and June, mid mid June, I was done with the Python program. And then I just started building the GUI application using Tkinter. I, I gave a shot to WX Python, but uh, Tkinter was uh, indeed a good idea to go with. And uh, so here is the demonstration of the app I was working on. And uh, this video will be divided into two parts. The first part is obviously the de demonstration, the input output. And the second part will be the math behind the uh, application. And uh, feel free to head over to my GitHub and uh, you can check out the code. Great, let's get started. All right, before we jump into the application demonstration, uh, very quick, I just wanted to show you this playlist, which is about uh, Python GUI development using Tkinter. This playlist is created by me where I teach uh, GUI development using Tkinter and Python. Uh, feel free to check this uh, playlist, uh, guys, if you want to learn uh, GUI development using Tkinter. And I have like 30 videos right now. Next month, uh, I'll be posting more 30. And uh, this is a great platform, guys. Tkinter is a great platform if you are into Python GUIs. Great, great platform to get started with. I know there are better platforms available for cross-platform like uh, PyQt5. Uh, but Tkinter will give you the basics and a proper way to get started with GUI development. So the only reason I wanted to do this uh, project was because I recently learned GUI development using Tkinter and Python. And I wanted to test my knowledge in Python programming as well as the GUI development, which I have learned recently. And uh, I always wondered how it feels to build a Windows desktop application. And I know there are better ways to do that using .NET or C Sharp. But uh, when I used Python for this application, I was really happy and I'm really happy with the result, which I got after building this application. Python simply handled the complex mathematics used in this program to the GUI part uh, used in the Tkinter library. And I come from a non-CS background. My branch is actually electrical and electronics. And uh, when I was in my fifth semester, I really loved this topic, which is digital signal processing. And in that uh, subject, there's a topic known as discrete Fourier transform. Now, uh, we also know that discrete Fourier transform is not that easy, but uh, it was great uh, learning that concept. and. Uh, to simplify the DFT, we learned something known as the Radix algorithm or the FFT algorithm. Now, it can be used to calculate the DFT or the discrete Fourier transform of any signal sequence like 4 point, 8 point uh, using the Radix algorithm. So, I quickly checked uh, GitHub, also YouTube, like uh, if anyone has done it yet, because people are doing crazy things with programming. So I, would, I wanted to check out uh, if someone has already done it yet. When I checked GitHub, I was surprised to find out no one has done it yet. And there is no GUI application for this uh, simple calculator. So I was like, okay, so I have something to do now. So let's start with this project. So here is the application that I built. I will be showing you all the applications this uh, uh, main application performs which uh, includes 4.8 point DFT as well as inverse DFT, also circular convolution and linear convolution. I'm adding more features to this app uh, maybe next month. I'm still working on it. I know uh, it will be a lot helpful for the students uh, who are designing filters. If you could show the uh, phase spectrum and the magnitude spectrum of the result. So that will be added in the next rollout. As of now, this is the complete finished app I'm going to show you. And uh, feel free to head over to my GitHub, check out my code, take my code and improve it further. Go for it. Now, just like any other Windows uh, installation, after you install the package, you will be welcomed with this folder, GUI FFT Calculator. And inside that, you can find with this icon, FFT Calculator. Now, this application is available for the Windows users right now. You can click the link in my description or you can click the YouTube annotation right here and it will redirect you to the media file link. From there, you can download this app. And when I click this, it will take some time to boot up, but you'll be welcomed with this menu right here. I think this is a great minimal uh, menu. You can easily make out with the color coding scheme, which operation you want to perform. 
So you have the operations like 4.point DIT FFT, 4.point DIF FFT, 8-point DIT FFT and 8-point DIF FFT. Now DIT stands for decimation in time, DIF stands for decimation in frequency. It really depends uh, which operation you want to perform. Also this menu gives you the ability to calculate the IDFT which is nothing but the inverse operation of the discrete Fourier transform which is uh, the reverse operation of DFT. Also you have the option to calculate linear convolution as well as circular convolution. Okay, so when you click the about developer section right here, you will be redirected to my uh, LinkedIn page. You can uh, just uh, ask me doubts here. And when you click the user manual, you will be redirected to my YouTube channel where you can watch the Tkinter videos in case you are uh, interested. Great. And you have a large uh, exit application uh, button right here. When you click this, this application will close. Okay, so let's start with the first operation, which is nothing but uh, four point DIT FFT. And if you are familiar with the FFT algorithm, you have to bit reverse the order in DIT uh, FFT. But uh, in this case, I have already clearly mentioned here, no need of bit reversal. The algorithm has already taken care of it. You just have to enter the sequence directly. So yeah, I, I'll take this example. If, uh, I have the examples right here in my other screen. So uh, you can uh, use your own uh, sequence if you want to. So I put uh, two, four, one, three yeah and when i submit the values fraction of second guys stage one stage two will get generated and uh, stage two is nothing but your final answer for your dft now this is nothing but your x of k sequence great and when you quit this app this is gone in case you want to enter another sequence just click this again it'll come back with a fresh menu let's try dif f50 and again here you don't have to bit reverse anyways because it is uh, dif but uh, the algorithm has already taken care of it. So I'll enter this example. I think I have, yeah, two, three, and uh, four, five. Summit values, there you go. So stage one, stage two will get generated. And this is nothing but your X of K sequence. Directly write your answers. Quit app. Let's try linear convolution this time. And in linear convolution, you have uh, two sequence, like uh, X of N sequence and H of N sequence. And when you do the convolution operation, it will give you Y of N sequence. We'll just see this in a bit. Okay, so I'll just uh, give some values like 1, 2, 2, 1. And give here 1, 3, 4, 4, uh, 5. Summit values, there you go. There is your Y of N sequence right there. And uh, that was uh, your linear convolution. I'll quit this. Let's move on to circular convolution. And for circular convolution, I have this example. Yeah, so I have the X of one uh, sequence here and X of two sequence. And the circular convolution will give me X3 of N. So I will give uh, values like 1, 2, 0, 1. And uh, 1, 3, 3, 1. And guys, uh, trust me, I'm just entering these values because these questions actually appeared in my university exams you can enter your uh, uh, sequences right there. Feel free to do that. When I click Summit, you go uh, X of three sequence is generated right there. Now, when you write these answers, you can see that 0J, 0J right here. So you have, you know that. Yeah, you got it. Uh, you have to enter 6, 8, 10, 8. Just ignore the J part. Uh, I'll fix that in the next application. There will be a clear button here to clear this uh, window and also to generate a better answer to completely ignore the J part in case of circular convolution that will be fixed okay so let's just try uh, 8 point DIT FFT okay so this one is big and I have uh, this example right here okay that is one 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 and then three zeros and the last one is two when I click submit fraction of seconds your uh, 8 point DIT F50 is generated. Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 all together. And uh, stage 3 is your uh, final answer, which is nothing but uh, 6 and this complex number again 2j minus 2 like that. That is your X of K sequence. So that was uh, 8 point DFT. Now guys, uh, just a quick uh, tip. This is just like your web applications. You can use tab function here to move on to next uh, entry box, just like your any other web application. Just a quick tip. Okay, let's just try DIF 8 point. Okay, let's give 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 
फोर फोर वॉट एवर आई डो नो या देर यू गो देर इज योर स्टेज वन एंड स्टेज टू स्टेज थ्री जनरेटेड फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड्स ओके एट पॉइंट डी आई टी आई डी एफ टी विच इज नथिंग बट द रिवर्स ऑपरेशन नाउ फॉर दिस आई वॉन्टेड टू शो यू समथिंग रियली कूल आई नो दिस इज नॉट दैट क्रिएट बट इफ आई ओपन दी एट पॉइंट डी आई टी एफ एफ टी राइट हेयर नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर आई गेव वैल्यूज लाइक वन फोर टाइम्स एंड देन थ्री टाइम्स जीरो एंड टू देन आई गॉट दिस सीक्वेंस राइट हेयर now what will happen to test the uh, how to test uh, how accurate this calculator is uh, if i choose the inverse operation of this fft i can pass my last stage values to the input of the idft and that should return me the original sequence right here which is nothing but 111 triple zeros and 2 so we will just test that now and i will just simply pass the third stage as my input stage of the inverse discrete fourier transform so i'll just give the same value 6 2.414 1j and then we have 2.414 1j okay so i have given the sequence right there this is nothing but the third stage passed as the input of the idft when i submit the values it is indeed correct you can see here the third stage the same values appeared here for the dit fft operation so trip uh, four ones you have four ones right here three zeros and last one is two so that means it works it is correct so quit app quit app and uh, same way you have 8 point dit idft and dif idft you can give your own values and check that out also and when you submit values you can see stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 will get generated simple as that so that was a quick demonstration of my application if you liked it leave a like for this video and you can head over to my github to check out this code and uh, <laughs> when i click the exit app this app gets exited <laughs> all right see you in the next one Thank you.